Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll see how to park your emergency funds. We'll find out quick and easier way to save your uh, funds, whatever you hold in your savings account. We'll find a quicker and easier way where you can uh, have your emergency funds compounded or like getting up a better ROI on your investments. So without further delay, let's get started on this. So the first method, what I would suggest you is in having a um, high interest savings account. We all hold a savings account in bank. But there are certain banks which give you a high interest saving accounts so it's always preferred to park your funds there say for example you have a 50,000 in your account on your SB account or a 1 lakh in your account which you have kept as an emergency fund so this can be saved into your high interest savings account so I would say the first one would be in any of these uh, small finance banks which could be your uh, AU small finance bank or capital small finance bank so all these are like uh, government approved banks. So they are backed up by the government. So there's nothing to worry about your investments. So it's always better to have your investments parked there. So you get a higher interest rate when compared with your normal other banks. So that would be the first choice. The next choice would be definitely to go with your FDs. They are the better way of doing it or keeping your money safer. But these FDs all come with a con of uh, duration we normally need to hold up fds for a period of one year or two years for better returns there are some banks which give you fd for uh, lower uh, dates as well say for example seven days or 14 days or for three months so depending upon your need plan your savings accordingly so you could uh, park your funds in your fds as well the next method i would suggest you is in having up your corporate fds so these are like uh, much preferred over normal fds so these are like non-banking financial corporations, basically your NBFCs. So they give you corporate fixed deposits. So they offer you higher returns when compared with the traditional bank FDs, but they also have a slighter higher risk. So whenever you go for an NBFC a kind of an investment, always look out for a AAA crystal rating. You'll be able to sort your companies with the help of your ratings. Never go for anything below than AAA rating. Those are the best ones. So always opt for companies who got a very good credential record in the industry as well as with uh, reputed in the market. So I would say like when you're going with corporate FDs, these are like some of the choices I would give you. You can go with Sriram Finance. They're one of the best in the industries. They give you a higher interest rate of over 9.10%. So these are like really good. You can park your money for like 12 months of time or at least for about uh, uh, like there is no, nothing like uh, early withdrawal. There's nothing like a lock-in. So you can try with these kind of uh, companies where you'll be able to get your money instantly within about P plus one days. Normally the fund sits back your account and uh, up to five lakhs. This amount is like automatically uh, backed up by the RBI. So this is also a guaranteed way of uh, saving up your money. Then the next one I would suggest you is in having up uh, mutual funds. So rather than going with your equity way, go with uh, liquid mutual funds. So these are like uh, basically money market kind of instruments. So you can go with a lot of uh, Debt funds are available in the market, so choose some of the debt funds, there you'll be able to choose liquid funds. They would give you a 6% of uh, returns, much more like your FDs, but there are instances where you'll be able to get better returns as well. So you can go with liquid funds, so these liquid funds, they normally have about uh, a very low uh, expense ratio, that's like very, very less, almost about 0.07, that's your exit load, and that is expense ratio is going to be almost close to nothing. So it's always preferred to have a... Uh, your funds pooled into your uh, liquid funds or otherwise you can go with your uh, money market funds as well. So you could see that uh, the expense ratio is almost 0.29% or otherwise you can go with uh, instead of uh, liquid funds you can go also with an option of uh, money market. So if you go into the money market you will be able to see that uh, we've got a better result that as well. So That would be another option as well for you to save your funds. So then the third choice would be is like uh, going into arbitrage funds. So these funds are nothing but uh, the funds which are getting invested in your cash market as well as your uh, futures market. So these are like really uh, considered uh, safe from your risk and they are like very tax efficient as well. So we can choose the option as arbitrage and you can choose up the best funds from there and you can try experimenting your funds there as well. And there are some banks which give you an option of uh, swiping FD accounts as well. So any amount uh, you hold in your account, um, anything which is like surplus, say for example, you hold an account which is like having 20,000 or 25,000 of limit and any amount you wanted to like keep uh, more than that will be automatically swiped off from your account that will be converted automatically into a fixed deposit. 
So that is going to be a, a very easier way for you to save your money or to park your money and get better returns. The money which is there in your account will normally provide you 4% of interest, but this will definitely give you like 6% of interest. And whenever you need the funds, you just put a withdraw option, it automatically hits your SB account. Then we've got options as uh, debt funds as well. You can choose debt funds and uh, choose the option of uh, choose the best debt funds from here. So these debt funds, they're all having a, a very good uh, credentials or like credit in the market. So they're totally risk free. Your money is like definitely going to be uh, very well safe and secure. But it's unlike your equity funds, they won't be giving you a greater, um, greater ROI, but they are definitely better than your savings bank account. So I would suggest you having your funds in your short term debt funds. So they also carry a risk because this is again a debt fund. They are all again linked with the market. So that could be a little bit of fluctuations, but it will be definitely like not like your equity or mutual funds. Then we've got uh, flexi uh, deposits as well. We have got certain banks which provides you options as flexi deposits. So these flexi deposits would normally give you an option to uh, withdraw a certain amount of funds. Say for example, you have a deposit of 1 lakh in your uh, flexi deposit account and you have an emergency to withdraw 40,000 or 50,000 from there. You can just withdraw that money alone instead of withdrawing the entire 1 lakh. So this is a greater way for you to save your funds there. Then you also have the liquidity option as well in it. Then the uh, last uh, suggestion would be is in going up your uh, POTD. So these uh, post office time deposits are nothing but uh, a way of saving your money into your post office schemes. So you can open your account just nearby your house. Any post office would be able to help you in this. This money is uh, definitely backed up by the government of India. So it's definitely risk free and it is totally safe. Again, it is uh, also applicable for kids as well. So anybody over the age of uh, um, 10 years will be able to start up a POTM, a POTD account and they'll be able to start saving their funds. And uh, there are options in it where you can hold your funds for a one year lock-in period or over five years lock-in period as well. So any fund that exceeds your five years lock-in period will automatically get your uh, ATC income tax rebate as well. So that's one more option available in this. You can also add up a nominee as well. This gets compounded annually every year and you get an interest component in it as well. Further, uh, whenever you have an emergency, you have plans of building up your home, you have a, any other plans in the future ahead, these uh, uh, investments can be given as a collateral. So this will be definitely an added advantage. Say for example, you have a one lakh of POTD in your uh, account, you will be given a collateral till like 75,000 by any bank as it's being backed up by the government. So that's one other way of saving up your funds as well. So these are all few ways where you can save your money instead of your savings bank account. And uh, as I said earlier, all these are subjected to markets and they are related to market one way or another. So it's always better to uh, keep your funds into any of these instruments and try to compound them or to get a better ROI rather than holding them in your savings account. So uh, if you have any other channels or any other way of keeping up your emergency fund, do leave them as a comments and I'll be glad to see them what your comments are. So if you like such videos, do share it with your friends and do smack that like button as well. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.